the channel my name is Osere Me. if this is the first time you're seeing my face or any of my videos you're especially welcome to the family please do subscribe to the channel and become a member of this wonderful family if you're a returning subscriber you are especially welcome I appreciate every single one of you guys that have subscribed to the channel so far in today's video I'm sharing with you how I made this really beautiful cow neck top that I'm wearing right now so if you're interested in knowing how I make this don't click away instead click the subscribe button and keep on watching this video let's get started so guys for this tutorial I'll be making use of this beautiful silk fabric here these are the materials I'll be using my fabric my scissors my chalk and my tape room so I went ahead to cut out a piece of fabric as you can see here which i'm going to use to measure for the first part of the um, dress which is the front part so this is way longer than the full length of my um, top so i'm going to fold in this material by 8 inches sorry 10 inches i went ahead to do it by 10 inches later by 10 inches in and from there i'm going to take my full length this is going to serve as the lining for this for the front part of this dress so after doing this you're going to fold it into two like you see me doing like this so first fold it in by um, 10 inches then fold it again so after this I'm going to take from this top part I'm going to get my shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement is 14 inches and that divided by 2 gave me 7 inches so I'm marking this point here by 7 inches then from here I'm going to get my bust point for my bust my bust point is 10 inches so because I'm going to have these long straps I'm going to take away 5 inches from the top, that's from the shoulder line and I'm going to mark 10 inches as you see me doing like this. So this is my bust point and from here I'm going to get my arm hole as you can see. So this is my bust point and now I'm going to get the, uh, actually to get this bust point to get now to get my bust measurement my bust is in 33 34 so that divided by four i added some allowances or sewing allowances so i decided to mark it nine which is 36 at the end of the day so this is it then the next thing i'm going to get now is the full length of this um top so i'm still going to take note of that five inches i'm going to use as strap so i marked 17 inches here at the end of this this is going to be the full length of this um, top that i'm making guys i after making this um cutting this out 17 inches and making the top i realized that it was a little bit too short so you would have to measure yourself to know where you actually want this to be Initially, I wanted it to be cropped, but I just realized that would have allowed it to be a little bit longer than it actually was. So from here now, that's from the sh um, shoulder line to the bust point. I'm going to make a curve to create my armhole, like you'd see me doing like this. So I'm j I hope you can see this because the chalk is really very faint so from here i will now make from this armhole i will take it all the way down with it to the end of the fabric to actually the end of my dress so this is all the measurements i need for this front part of for the front part sorry for the front part of this dress so this is it um what i'm going to do now is to cut this out with my scissors So guys, this is the front of my top. This is the front. This is how it will look when you open it up. So um, this point here is going to just be where you take it in, serve as the lining, and that was going. This is going to be the neck part. So this is the front. We'll be leaving this aside now, and we'll work on the back. So to work on the back, I am going to take measurements from the front. So 
what I'm going to do is to measure from the arm down to the end of this fabric which is seven and a half inches then from there I'm from the arm again to the bust side of this I'm going to take a measurement down then also at the end of the fabric like you see me doing like this I'm going to take a measurement from here is nine and a half inch and from here it's seven and a half inches and down here I it's 10 inches so I'm going to leave this aside and I'm going to make those measurements on the back piece of this fabric which is going to serve as the back so guys the back of this um, cow neck top is going to be very deep so that's why I took my measurements from the armhole so this is what the back is looking like now this is the back piece and here is the front as you know we've already cut this so this is the front piece and that is the and the next thing i went ahead to do was to create my uh, some pieces of fabric about one inch wide and long i didn't even measure the length of this but i know it to be very much enough for the straps of this dress so i went ahead to cut this out and what i'm going to do is to fold it on one end and I'm first going to hold it down with my pins so after holding this down with my pins I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down on one end I'm going to do this for the both pieces So guys this is it i'm just going to stitch it down on this end here all the way to the end using my sewing machine so i've done it for the both parts i'm just going to turn it out now to the right side So this is what they look like after I've turned it out. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place the strings on the strap, sorry, on the front part of the dress. So I'm going to put it like this as you see me doing, just at the point where the lining and the actual um, fabric met. I'm going to place it at the end here, like you see me doing like this, and I'm going to hold it down with my pin. I'm also going to hold the fabric all the way to the end of the armhole just so I'm able to hold it in place that it's not shifting from it's not shifting away from where I want it to be. So I'm going to do this same thing on both sides of this fabric. That's the armhole part of it. So I'll be putting the other strings here as well and I'll be holding it down with my pins before taking this to my sewing machine to stitch down okay guys i'm also going to hold down like hem this end here that's the lining piece of this as well i will stitch it down here and here and also hold down this part of it so this is what it looks like after i've stitched it down this is the front part this is what it looks like and these strings are way too long i'm going to be cutting this off later so this is the front will work on the back now so i've cut out the strings to where i want it to be i took a measurement of where i want the string to be so what i'm going to do now I've placed the back piece which you can see this is the back piece here i'm going to attach my strings to the back piece i'm going to take three away, three inches away from the side that's from the armhole from the side of the armhole I'm going to mark three inches away and I'm going to do it on the other side as well mark three inches away from the side so that I will know exactly where to attach my straps so I'm going to place the strap the way you are see me doing it like this 
I'm going to pin it down and I'm also going to do the same thing on the other side on the other part of the arm so guys this is it this is how it will look so I'm going to open it up now like this and just the same way you see me doing it like this i created this um i cut out this about three inches wide uh, material that i'm going to use as the facing for this part of the back so i'm just going to place it to cover it up like this and i'm going to pin it down as well then i'll take this to my sewing machine and stitch down everything together So I'm going to stitch it down on this edge here and as well I'm going to hem this part of the dress which is going to serve as the facing for the back. So guys this is it, this is the back piece as you can see how the facing is on at the back. So this is what I was saying as you can see I've hemmed it down. I've held everything together and it's right in place. I also went ahead to iron this out. Just so I'll be able to hold it well because the fabric was looking very rough initially. So now I'm just going to put, bring the sides together as you see me doing like this and I'm going to pin them down. Just pin it down on the sides because now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch down the sides of this top. So I'm going to stitch it down here and here and I'm also going to fold it by about quarter an inch twice, fold it once and again I'm going to do it all the way round and that will be it for the stop. So guys this is how it looks, I've ironed it out, I've stitched down everywhere that needs to be stitched down, the ends here, the sides, everything is in place now and this is how it looks this is the front and it looks so pretty already let me know what you think about this tutorial at the comment section thank you so so much guys for watching and thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of this video i really appreciate let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and if you try out this tutorial using my video you can send me pictures on my instagram let me know what you guys think thank you so much guys i will see you in my next video